Simple harmonic motion is a repeatable, steady, back and forth motion. The requirements for simple harmonic motion are 1. It must have a mass. 2. It must have an equilibrium position. 3. It must have a restoring force. And finally, 4. The restoring force must be proportional to the displacement and opposite in direction. The restoring force can be found using Hooke's law, F equals negative Kx. F is the force restoring, and K is the spring constant, and X is the displacement from the equilibrium. The spring constant determines how stiff the spring is, and F and X are always pointing in opposite directions. For a spring undergoing simple harmonic motion, there are three places of importance, the equilibrium and the highest and lowest displacements from the equilibrium. At the max and min distance points, the velocity equals zero, acceleration is maximized and potential energy is greatest. At the equilibrium point, kinetic energy is greatest because velocity is greatest and acceleration is zero. Elastic potential energy is defined as 1 half kx squared, where k is the spring constant and x is at the point of displacement from the equilibrium. For simple harmonic motion, the period is the time it takes for one oscillation. To find the period, you use the equation t equals 2 pi times root m over k. The frequency of a system undergoing simple harmonic motion is that it is the inverse of the period, or the number of oscillations per unit time. Frequency is often measured in as seconds to the negative first or hertz. Pendulums do not undergo simple harmonic motion. They approximate simple harmonic motion only under small angles. You can find the force by using the equation F equals mg sine theta. This is a restoring force, not exactly opposite in direction. This is why pendulums do not undergo simple harmonic motion. These videos showcase what affects a pendulum's period and frequency. Increasing the length of the pendulum does in fact increase the period and decrease frequency. And unlike the spring, the mass of the pendulum does not affect the period or the frequency. When the distance of the pendulum from the equilibrium is greatest, the restoring force is maximized, acceleration is maximized, velocity equals zero, and potential energy is maximized. At equilibrium, kinetic energy is maximized, velocity is greatest, the force is zero, and the acceleration is zero. These formulas show how pendulums, period, and frequency are affected by length of the pendulum and gravity rather than what a spring is affected by, which is mass and the spring constant.